where we're talking about five, let me provide five simple things you can do right now, right now, to make more money with your plumbing business today. Right now and today? Today, right. Wow. So not something, you know, we got to plan and put all together and start tomorrow or the next day after that. Or a year from now, you'll start making money. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, but right now, okay. things you can do to be making money with your plumbing business. Well, Number one, okay, first one here. Mm -hmm. Charge more. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> charge more. You probably charge are not charging more. enough. You're not charging enough. We that, know that. We that, know that. That is the virus out there <laughs> that overwhelmingly is killing 95% of all plumbing businesses right there. It's not charging enough. And look, we get into it. We, we did it. When we got into yes. it, you know, we, we made started a our plumbing business. Started our plumbing business. And, of course, we think, well, we... I'm, I'm not going to charge what those big guys are charging because oh, no, we imply they're ripping people off. They're right. ripping everybody off. No, no, I'm not going to rip people off. <laughs> so we have that thought going in our minds. Mm -hmm. Then we also have subconsciously another thought going on in our minds is I'm not worth it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a big Because it's just me and maybe another guy. Right. Right. It's just mm -hmm. me. I'm, so I can't, you know, I can't I be can't char charged. I can't charge that. Mm -hmm. So on, on that, that side of mm -hmm. things. And, and then there's all these other kinds of traps we fall into. Well, we just, we just kind of take the prices that we, we hear or the price book from the other company worked it, you know. Which, that's what we did. That's what we all do. We all do, right, we did that. Or, or my favorite, we just pull it out of our arse. You know, I think I can get this, okay? That's killing your plumbing business. If you're not making the money um, you, you want to make it your plumbing business, you start, start, let's start at the very beginning. <laughs> what we're charging, okay? Charge more. Yes. So what do we ask, ask them to yes, do? Yes, what? And we'll ask you to do, all right, do this. Charge $25 more an hour on your hourly rate. Right. Just raise it $25. $25. Just raise it, right? Willy-nilly. Right. Just, just raise it. $25. All right? And see what at happens. Least, right. At least $25. Right. See what happens. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right? You, what you'll find is that literally will put thousands of dollars right to your bottom line. Okay? Mm -hmm. it, it is that simple. And you'll also realize that, you know, that's what we like to do, you know, with well, – you know, give you time to get comfortable with the pricing, mm -hmm. you know, um, that, you know, that you'll realize that I don't get to push back. Right. I don't, I don't have, mm -hmm. I'm not, or I get the same kind of pushback, the right. same kind of questions, the same right. kind of stuff. If you're getting it, no pushback on your prices, you are definitely charging too right. much. You're definitely charging too much. Or you're not, or charge, char not charging Thank enough. Thank you. Next. All right. Mark up all materials 100%, mm -hmm. at least 100%. Throw that in. Okay. okay? Mark up all of your materials at least 100%. Now, what do I mean by that? Why would you do that? Well, well, let me give you, well, let me explain what, what that looks like and what that means. Okay. So, if, you know, that toilet, you know, costs you $100, you're going to sell it for $200. Okay. That water heater costs you $700, you're going to sell it for at least $1,400. Okay. No matter what it is, okay. Materials, even, even your subs, I'll throw, throw your subs in there as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Use a guy to dig or, you know, that kind of a thing, mark it up 100%, okay? And the reason we do that, all right, um, this, is, this is an area where most guys are losing huge, okay? I'll mark it up. Well, first of all, you work on getting the best deal possible, you know? You, you know, you work on, like, okay, I'm getting, the, I'm getting the parts as cheaply as I oh, can. from the supply house. Right, okay. and you spend all this time, mm -hmm. all right? Time, time costs money, okay? Time is money. All right, and then you mark it up, you know, you know 20%. <laughs> okay. All right. Or let's talk to somebody. I'm really, I'm, I'm really going to get some money. I'm going to market at 40%. Okay. No. All right. You're losing left, left and right there mm -hmm. because we, we have, you know, um, product that it gets crunched. Okay. Warranty issues, which takes up time going back and forth. Even if you get the part replaced or whatever, there's still time, lost time, that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. A lot of, a lot of guys are losing in the materials area. Mm -hmm. Okay. From not marking things up. Right. Correctly. Some not at all. The fear is always, well, no one's going to use it. I can't charge. I can't do it. No, that's not. Wouldn't you rather have fewer right. customers and make more money, charge, charge what you need to charge, and then make more money as opposed to having tons and tons of customers and you're you're charging 100 bucks an hour and you're not making any money? I mean, the, right. the logic, right? right. So it's, charge more, less customers, less headache, you make more money. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> all right. And finally, yes. provide... Or present flat rate pricing. Okay, not time and material, okay, but flat rate pricing. Okay, mm -hmm. gone are the days. Okay, this is a, you know, 
TNM. TNM. The customer the customer doesn't live in a, a TNM world. The customer lives in a flat rate world. That's not that's not the world we live in. And so when we present in a t- in time and material manner, first of all, it makes the customer uncomfortable. Okay, but it also on as far as the losing money side is normally we're not including all of our costs. So in a in flat rate by coming up with flat rate pricing, mm-hmm. all right. You, you kind of, you put all your time, you figure in all the time, not just the time on the job, okay, but the time it, it takes to put this stuff together, mm-hmm. okay, the business time to run everything, oh, all, all that's figured, okay, mm-hmm. you're charging a customer for all the time. You're not um, showing what your hourly rate is. You do not want to show your hourly rate, and then plus materials. Don't do that on your invoice. It needs to show, the customer needs to see what the flat rate price is. Right. Right? Um, and it includes everything. Right. Customers and, and then um, let me say one more thing too. Sorry, um, and then if you're offering some sort of discount, you know, some senior discount or repeat customer discount or whatever it might be, make sure you show the discount on the invoice because if they don't see it in their minds, they didn't get it, right? So that's a value. So say the job is a thousand dollars and you give them ten percent off, show senior discount ten percent one hundred dollars, especially if it's a woman. We love to see. All right, you so want to make more money with your yes. plumbing business? All right, today, today, charge more, raise your hourly rate, mark up your materials at least a hundred percent, and provide present in flat rate pricing. Absolutely. There we go. Mm-hmm.